Alright guys, quick tutorial on how you can speed up clips in Vegas Pro 17. Just gonna import my video. It's just a gameplay video with some copyright free music. Gonna play it so you see the regular speed of the video. Right, as you can see, it goes fairly slowly. But if we want to speed up this video, all we have to do is hold the control key go to the end of the clip until this uh, curved line appears this wavy line see if i uh, release the control key it's gonna disappear it's gonna trim event end but if i hold control on my keyboard time stretch so i'm just gonna drag around this long so this same clip is gonna run for uh, a shorter period of time. I have sped it up, essentially. Alright guys, welcome to this quick tutorial on how you can move all clips at once in Sony Vegas. So first I'm gonna import my footage. No, and I'm gonna separate my video real quick. And I'm gonna add them to different tracks. So, video goes here, the other video goes here and the fourth one is gonna go here all right so as you can as you know you can already individually move them but what if you want you to select multiple clips at once well you gotta hold the control key while you left click on the clip which you want and then do that for every single clip which you want for example i want the first one and the third one while holding control i clicked on both of them and now if i try to move them only those two will move and sorry i just created a copy only those two will move right so you gotta release the control key before you move them otherwise if you hold control while moving them and they're selected it's gonna copy them all right so what if i want to select from the very first until the very last clip well that's even easier you just press on the first one hold the shift key and then you press on the last one and you can move all of these selected clips but like i said if you want just separate clips you gotta hold control I want the first and the last clip for example release the control key and now you can move on like that all right guys sometimes i don't know it just acts weird hello no bs straight to the point video how you can zoom in in sony vegas first i'm gonna import my video just a regular gameplay video that i have I'm gonna drag and drop it here mesh the settings doesn't really matter and now how we can zoom in as you can see, uh, for example, let's say I want to zoom in on this Siamese cat. So, what I need to click is this option right here, event pan crop, or pan crop. If it doesn't show up, chances are it is uh, too small, like this. See, I just separated the video. See, if it doesn't show, you need to zoom in on the timeline so it appears, right? You're looking for this event pan slash crop. Okay, not going to zoom in on its butthole, but... So, how you can zoom in? All you have to do is click on this event pan crop, then look at your preview window and just drag it to the side like this. And as you can see, the video automatically zooms. Now, this will zoom out the entire section, the entire clip which you have uh, separated or your entire clip. If you want to uh, zoom out different parts of the video, you want to prematurely clip it for example i'm going to zoom out this part and then this part is going to stay uh like it is uh, normal height you know normal zoom in so i'm going to zoom this out or zoom this in like that and then right here it should zoom out again to the normal dimension of dimensions of the video See, this is how it works. It's as simple as that. Hi everyone, welcome to this quick tutorial on how you can unlink video from audio. So first off, I'm gonna import my media right here. It's just a regular gameplay video with some audio attached to it. And the issue you're having most probably is when you try to move either of the tracks, they're connected. So one won't move without the other. So what we need to do here is simply press the U key on your keyboard. I repeat the U key. And as you can see, it let go of the top layer. So now if we try to move one, 
we can just move them individually. Uh, if the audio is not uh, doesn't match, it's gonna show you how how further away they are from each other. But I guess this is what you wanted to do. So now we can just select either of those, press the delete key, and we can get rid of them. And only the one which you want will be left. So that is how you unlink video from audio. Make sure you like and sub. Take care. Hey guys, welcome to this quick tutorial on how you can fade in a video in Sony Vegas. First off, I'm gonna import my media. Just find a video which I have not faded in. All right, so if we place this clip right here, as you can see, if we play the audio, I'm just gonna lower the volume a little bit. What the hell? It is not faded in, as you can see. Now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna use my mouse scroll wheel, zoom in a bit, and you see these little blue pointers, right? You wanna click on them and drag them. So if you're going from left to right, you wanna, uh, well, obviously do it from left to right, and if you wanna fade out a video, again, you need to look for this little pointer right here, and you need to just click on it, left click on it, and drag it, the left side. So now if I look at this video, it's gonna fade in. What the As you can see, the difference, if I remove it, no fading effect. And if I look at the end, it's, gonna, it's gonna fade out. And if you wanna make the audio fade out as well, again, you can repeat the same process. And now the audio is gonna fade Flash out man. as well. Uh, you can also do this for a fading effect. So basically, if you go from left to right, it's a fading effect. If you go from right to left, it's a fade out effect. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Welcome boys and girls to this quick tutorial on how you can slow down audio in Sony Vegas. First off, I'm gonna import my media. Here, videos finish this. So this is basically a gameplay video with some music added to it. If we listen to it, It's just some non-copyrighted music. So what I'm gonna do here is, first off, I'm gonna separate the two tracks. I'm gonna separate the video track from the audio track by simply pressing the U key. As you can see, it releases the highlight over it. So now I can move them individually. And next up, what I need to do is, let's say I'm gonna split the audio somewhere around here i'm gonna press the s key like that and i'm just gonna get rid of this other part so if i just play it right now again same non-copyrighted music so how can you slow this down what you need to do is press and hold the control key and then hover over the variant until this icon or mouse uh, cursor appears so hold control and just drag and drop it and it shows how long it's gonna go for now if I play this audio it's gonna be completely distorted there is a limit of how much you can stretch it so if I play this it's just gonna sound horrible because it's distorted audio but this is how you do it Yeah, this is how you do it, boys. All right, guys, welcome to this really quick tutorial on how you can render a vertical video in Sony Vegas. So first off, I'm gonna import my media real quick. I use this video for all purposes. When you get this option prompt, just click no. And now what we need to do, as you can see here, it's just a horizontal video because my pre-made settings were like this. Now we wanna click this gear icon right here. And then we wanna change the width to 1080 and the height to 1920. Now this pretty much just reverses the whole thing. So it's not horizontal, it makes it vertical. Make sure your frame rate is at 60 FPS and also check all of your other settings if they match how you would like them to be. Click on apply. And now, as you can see, this video is vertical. You can upload it to YouTube Shorts, TikTok, whatever you feel like. So now, how do we render this video though? So just basically highlight all of it highlight your video, click on the render as option. Just give it a second, it's kind of slow. So now what we need to do is search for Windows Media Video, like that. Select the highest quality option and click on customize template. Now here, wanna go to video, 
and make sure it's at 60 fps or 59.94 and then click on the custom image size and make it match your resolution for the video that you have created so ours was 1080 by 1920 leave this pixel aspect ratio as is HD click OK uh, should create a custom template and now if we were to render this it's gonna test the test name it now if we were to render this as you can see it is going to render as a vertical video all right guys welcome to this tutorial on how you can pause or freeze a frame in sony vegas vegas pro so first off i'm gonna import my media uh, now there are different ways of doing this but this is how i do it and i think this is the easiest way so this is my media right here is just gameplay footage so if we were to play this let me just lower the volume if we were to play this let's say i want to zoom in on its butthole what I'm gonna do here is press the S key uh, and then separate my video into two. Now I will drag this to the side and this very last frame right here, I left clicked uh, or the left arrow on my keyboard. What I'm gonna do here is just click on this icon right here, save snapshot to file. I'm gonna call it whatever, it doesn't really matter. You can make it a PNG or a JPEG. I prefer PNG. So now, as you can see, it popped up in our files. So if I was to drag and drop it, I have frozen the very last frame of this uh, clip. So this is how I do it. Uh, when you render this video, there won't be a difference. You won't notice that it's uh, actually a screenshot. So this is the easiest way of freezing a frame, quote unquote, in Vegas Pro. Of course, you can prolong it as, lo as long as you like, or you can make it as short as you'd like, and then the video will just continue as normal when you combine it like that. And just we keep on, the video keeps on playing. Hope it helped you out. Alright guys, a quick tutorial on what you can do if you download an image, a PNG image of the internet with a quote-unquote transparent background, but the background, turn, the background turns out not to be transparent. So, I just <clears throat> stole this image of the internet. PNG said transparent background. It looks like the background would be, would be transparent, but when we click on it, as you can see, the check mark, check mark pattern is there. This is not an actual transparent background PNG. So how we can fix this? I'm gonna leave a free piece of software in the description. I want you to download it and just follow what I do. All right, now I'm gonna go to my fake PNG with a transparent background. I'm gonna click on it, open with paint.net. Paint.net is the free piece of software which I uh, will give you in the description. So when we are in paint, I want you to click on this magic wand tool, or you can just hold the S key. Then select uh, or click anywhere in the background, on the background of this uh, fake transparent background. See the difference now. I'm gonna press the delete, the delete key and look how the pattern completely shifted from being uh, bigger or bigger check marks to uh, smaller. So I'm gonna do this, and now how you can save this image. Click on save as, make sure it's PNG right here, and I'm gonna call this file real. All right, now I'm gonna show you the difference that it makes in Sony Vegas. So if we try to put a video under this one, nothing is gonna show up, because this file just completely uh, removes or takes up the whole place, the whole preview screen. But when we import our real fake image look at this the background is black and if i put a video behind this it is going to play the video is going to play it won't fill up the entire space so it pretty much just turns your background into a transparent background i think you guys are well aware of that all right guys a quick and easy tutorial on how you can write text with a background in sony vegas or vegas pro so first off i'm gonna import my media just a video which i'll write some text over as you can see okay i just added it now 
if we were to add a simple text box, I'm just going to create a new layer and add a simple text box. We've got titles and text and then sample text, but the text will have a transparent background and if you're watching this video, chances are that's not what you need. So how can you get a background for this text? I'm just going to show you right now. So click on this advanced tab, write whatever text you want before that, for example, and this background, as you can see, it's a check mark pattern, so or a chest pattern. So just select the color which you want your background color to be. Gonna go with orangey red, something like that. Okay, and then drag it all the way to the top so it fills in the entire. Uh, screen so it's not semi-transparent now after you've done that as you can see it filled up the entire screen so now you can't view the video because chances are you don't want this whole thing to fill up the entire screen you just want it uh, some part of it to show up so it's easier to read so now what we're gonna do is scroll in with the mouse wheel enlarge it and click on the event the event pan slash crop here we have to create a mask so just click or check mark this uh, mask layer right here make sure you're on the very first frame click on it left click on it it kind of lights up or adds white around it the inside that's how you know you've selected it and what we're gonna do here is just rectangle or you could make it a square also like that but i think for most cases sorry and clear it for most cases you want a rectangular background like that just drag the area you want to fill up and now if we want to move the text itself or the position we gotta make sure we click on the position frame the top one right here and now if we were to move it we can make it bigger smaller drag it around whatever we want and that is how you create text a text file with a background in sony vegas all right guys the easiest way of using a green screen in sony vegas so first off we want to put our main footage which our green screen will play over just some gameplay now here as you can see i have a green screen video of somebody pressing the subscribe and like button <clears throat> i think you guys should do that also if it helps you so now we have our footage, but as you can see, it completely covers our uh, main gameplay footage, right? So that this is why the green screen comes into play. So we want to press on video effects, chroma key, here, and then press on pure green screen. As you can see, when we add it, there's a difference, right? But it's still, it is not completely, if we play it a little bit before, you see how the regular video is lighter than when the green screen part comes out. So what we want to do is press on this green cover, press on this one, the point drop, and then just click on the green screen, uh, which we have here in the video. Close out of it. And now it should be a similar cover. There should not be a difference between this and when the green screen part comes into play. So yeah, it's just, it works. Hope it helped you out.